we are back battling some of the world's greatest Dune players from the TTS Club Discord. These people play the game all the time and even host tournaments for it. So let's just say pulling out a victory here would be a monumental feat. Wish me luck as we play Dune Imperium, Rise of Ix. Okay, looks like Red's gonna pick first and they drew the beast. Start the game with one, these additional resources and every time they play their gold ring, they get extra troops. One, normally, two if they have a faction alliance. So usually Red will be trying to push the Fremen track and get up to an alliance as quickly as possible. We'll see if that's what they end up doing here. Blue will be going with the Baron Harkonnen and he will decide on which two factions he wants to choose for his special ability. Usually it's Fremen and Guild Alliance because they will be activating their ability by going to Hardy Warriors, getting two troops plus two troops. Thanks. Okay, let's look at this. This guy's great. Balance Ambition is also great. Other memory. Worm Riders and Fremen Camp. We have Memo Quarters, Invasion Ships, and Troop Transports. I think I will try out Helena Rachis to try and get one of these more expensive technologies early. We'll see how it goes. This is a great card. This is a really great card as well. This is good. Worm Riders is always good. I'd imagine we'll be trying to get that. Okay, so I do have my ring ability. And I have enough to buy two, four, five, six. So I have enough to buy anything I want from up there. So I think my first order of business will be trying to deny the Baron Harkonnen. Mm, yeah, it's usually not worth pushing it because they'll get it eventually. I think I will take fold space. Okay, the first conflict will be for a victory point, a water, or a spice. Taking fold space is always good because it lets you move up on the guild influence track. If you get two, you can go to interstellar shipping, which is a very action efficient way to play. I get one fold space as well for my trouble. That card gets trashed and we will move on to the next. So now it is Yellow's turn. They will be playing Seek Allies. And they are going to Still Suits to get one water and they can deploy troops to the combat if they would like, and they will. Okay, blue is up. Blue will be playing Seek Allies, most likely to go to Hardy Warriors and activate their ability. Yep, very common opening play. So now they get two extra troops that they can commit to the combat. And since it's a combat space, they can commit to more, which they're doing for a total of four. And of course, now they can activate their ability and they get one with the Guild Alliance and one with the Fremen. So they already have an alliance with the Fremen. Very common opener, very good opener as well. Okay, Red will be using their Signet Ring ability and deploying a troop over to Arrakan, which will give them one troop and the ability to draw a card. And since this is a combat space, they can deploy an additional two troops to the combat. We'll see how many they decide to contribute. They also get an additional troop for their gold ring ability, which I think they've already taken. Yep, that's two there. Okay, it's my turn. So now I will be using my gold ring, which will allow me to remove and replace a card in the Imperium row. And then when I reveal, I can acquire it for one cheaper. So where do I want to go with my move? A very good early play is actually to go smuggling. So I will take the opportunity to go here. I get one Solari. And my Signet Ring ability lets me reserve a card. So the decision now is Boundless Ambition or Through Fear. Tough call. I think it has to be Boundless Ambition though. Such a good card. Okay. That is my turn. And I revealed a power play which was now available in the shop. We'll see if anyone chooses to buy it. Yellow is using their dagger to go up to 
tech negotiation, which will give them one buying power, and they can buy a discounted thing if they want. They cannot afford it, so they will get a future discount on any technology they buy. Blue is up, and they are revealing. They have two, four, five, six currency, and they do take Thufi or Hawat. They will reveal two, three, four, five, and I would be surprised if they didn't take this card. And they do. Firm Grip is also a good card. They did reveal early so that they could get this card. Hmm, Firm Grip. I will be going with the Boundless Ambition that I've reserved. So I reveal five buying power. And I will take my Boundless Ambition. See what yellow decides to do. They reveal five buying power as well. Oh, six because they went up here. So they were able to get the Fremen Worm Riders. And it looks like everyone has revealed. Okay, combat. Doesn't look like anyone has any intrigue, so collect your reward. So blue will be getting the victory point. Red will be getting one water, and yellow will be getting one spice. Yellow will play Diplomacy. And go to Hardy Warriors, spending one water to do so, allowing them to get two troops and deploy, if they wish, the troop in their garrison. Oh, okay, they choose to only deploy one troop. Not as worried about getting the Mentad, it seems. Blue will play Diplomacy. Most likely going to fold space. Yep. Totally fine. So they move up. So now they can go to interstellar shipping on their next action. Okay, it's Red's turn. It looks like they will be playing Seek Allies. And going to Still Suits to increase one of reputation with the Fremen. And gain one water. So now it's come all the way back around to me. Diplomacy. Okay, so it's my turn. I will play Diplomacy. So, I can take some extra... Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, it's my turn. I will be playing Dune the Desert Planet. Going to Smuggling. So I will get one Solari. And I will move up one more on the track. It's now Yellow's turn. They'll be playing Dune the Desert Planet. Most likely collecting some spice here. Yep, and they will collect two spice. And they have the ability to contribute troops if they want, but they do not. Blue's turn. They will be playing their Signet Ring. They do not have the spice to activate the ability, but they will be going up to shipping and most likely moving up too. Yep. Their turn. Red's turn. They will be playing Diplomacy. And gathering the wealth. Which is fine with me. Okay, I'll be playing my Reconnaissance. So that I can contribute some troops to this battle. Um, now I have to decide if I want to go to Arrakan or Carthag. Would I rather have the Intrigue or draw a card? If I draw a card... Yeah, it's actually not... I don't think it's worth drawing the card here. I think I will go for the Intrigue. So, I get one troop which I will contribute. I will draw the Intrigue. Ooh, okay, that's good. I got Charisma. I get two extra re reveal when I play it, and I will also be adding in... Hmm, do I want to play two troops to get the Mentat next turn? I think I will. Uh, Actually, I think I can get away with one, because I have two daggers in my hand. So I'll get a little bit greedy here. So yellow moves to five, because they revealed one dagger and they have two buying power. They will take an Arrakis Liaison. Blue reveals as well. They have two daggers and one buying power, so I don't think they will be buying anything. Red reveals. They get two Spice, two Solari, and they have two buying power. So they will take an Arrakis Liaison as well. I will reveal. I have two daggers. So I move above yellow in this combat. And I think that is it. 
Okay, anyone, uh, I guess, yeah, I'm the only one with injury cards and I'm not playing any, so I win, yellow gets second. So I get one entry card, two Solari, which is perfect for me. Okay, I get the Mentat this round. Blue is up first, and they will be playing Thufi Hawat, which they will choose to go to the Guild Space with to get a Fold Space, and it'll allow them to draw an extra card. Red's turn. They will be playing their Signet Ring. And paying two water to go to the Great Basin. The Great Flat, I mean. Getting them five spice. Very big. And then we'll be contributing two troops to the combat. Okay. And I will be playing for some spice. So, I will play my Signet Ring ability so that I can go to the Great Flat. I gain four spice, paying one water, and I will contribute two troops to this fight. Yellow's turn. They will be playing Worm Riders to go to Smuggling and move up one. Lovely. Blue will be playing Dune the Desert Planet and going to Interstellar Shipping, which I assume they will they will move up one so they get a two discounted technology and then back to the bottom. And they bought troop transports, very good for them. So whenever they go to the shipping track, they will get an additional troop and they can deploy it to the conflict, which I think they should do here. But we'll see if they decide to do that. And they chose to get their influence with the guild, so they'll get three Solari and an extra victory point. Okay, they chose to collect Solari, which gives me an extra one. And I did reserve Opulence with my Gold Ring ability. Red will be playing their dagger to go to the tech negotiation space, gaining them one influence to buy something at the end of the round and discounting a future technology. Memo Quarters is an excellent one, as well as Restricted Ordinance. I'd be happy with either. We'll see if they choose to buy one. Looks like they will choose to buy Memo Quarters, which on purchase will let them move up one with any experience track. And if they end the game with three influence on all four influence tracks, they'll get an extra victory point. And looks like they chose to go up with the Empire, with the Emperor. So they get one victory point for that. <clears throat> okay, it's my turn. Let's see where I want to go. I think I will be using my fold space because I want to reveal this ability. But where do I want to fold space to? I have a diplomacy, so my second action will be going to one of these spaces. I think collecting some water could be an excellent move. Okay. For my turn, I will play Diplomacy, and I will go down and collect some water. Yellow will play a Diplomacy of their own, and head up to the top Emperor track, spending four spice, gaining five Solari, and drawing an entry card. And they will use an Intrigue card, Guild Authorization, to move one up with the, the Guild track. Blue will reveal they have three purchasing power. Let's see what they end up buying. Looks like they will elect to buy nothing. Interesting. Wet red will reveal they have one, two, three, four buying power. Uh, plus one for five. Looks like they're eyeing up that power play. Ooh, firm grip instead. 
Okay. That's good for me. So I do have one more action. This turn. And I will be taking my high council seat. Yeah. I will be taking my high council seat. Costing me one, two, three, four, five. I will trash this card to draw a card. Okay, a lot of purchasing power, actually. Yellow's turn. They will reveal three buying power, plus one dagger. So I have six buying power. And so I have six buying power, and I can acquire a card that costs five or less. So I will take power play and then, oh my God. So I will actually use charisma to gain two more influence during this round. And I will take this card. This is an amazing card. It gives you pretty much an extra action and an extra card every time you play it. Okay. That's much better than Opulence, which will now be discarded since I chose not to buy it. Okay, combat. Um, I'm not playing anything. Me neither. So we both get one spice and one water. So red will be going first. Looks like the beast will be playing his signet ring. We'll see where he wants to go with it. Wow, and he will be going over to the research station, paying two water to draw three cards this turn. And he can contribute troops if he wants. It looks like he will choose not to contribute any. My turn. I am set up for a very nice smuggling turn here, which I will do. Again, one Solari. I will. So I'll move down now. Get two warriors or troops. I get one reputation up with anyone I wish. And I get, I think I will be going with the spice here. Don't really need Solari. And who do I want to move up one with? I think I'll be doing it with the guild because I don't really want to be going here anymore. And it'll allow me to access the shipping track more easily. So now blue has some competition. Okay, yellow's turn. They will be playing a dagger to get their sword master, paying eight, and now they get an extra action every round. Blue will now be going, they'll play their fold space, and heading up to shipping, which I have effectively forced them to do. And they get to draw one card as a result. Red's turn. They have a lot of cards to work with here. We'll see what they end up doing with them all. They will play Firm Grip. And go to Conspire. Spending four spice, they gain five Solari, two troops, and an Intrigue card. Very powerful play. And we'll see if they decide to spend up the Solari to move up the influence track, and they will. Let's see which one they choose. Looks like they will be pushing for an alliance with the Empire, which makes sense with this card because it gives him four purchasing power if he has the alliance. Yep, and an extra point. My turn. So I have one, two, 
four buying power. This is actually a conflict I want to get involved with. And I would have an extra two daggers to possibly win this thing. So I think it might be worth putting in some troops for this. Because I wouldn't mind getting some shipping and extra troop. And worst case scenario, I get some water, which is always helpful. Do I need more spice, though? Not really. I think I will be going for the intrigue card here. And I draw a quid pro quo. I can spend two spice to gain an influence with every one of these that I have an agent on, which is pretty good. I'll have to set up for a big, uh, a big turn for that. Let's see what yellow decides to do. They will play... Yellow will play Dune the Desert Planet and collect the spice, which is the other action I thought about doing last turn. And they won their turn. Blue will be playing through Fear Hawat to get some water. And it looks like he will be contributing two troops to the battle. And drawing one card. Red will reveal one, two, three, four, five, six buying power. And take a treachery. And they also get two spice and two solari. My turn. I only have three buying power this turn, which is not the best, but it's fine. There's actually a pretty good card I can get for three. Do I want this? I can purge my deck and it will give me extra. I think I will take it, if anything, just to deny it from other people. Yep. Okay, I get two swords, so moving me up to a total of eight combat power. Yellow's at two, blue's at four. Yellow will play Reconnaissance to go to a blue space, netting himself a troop and one water. We'll see if he decides to commit. And he will not. Happy with third place. Blue must reveal, and they reveal two, three, four, five, six buying power, and one dagger. And looks like they will elect to buy nothing. I do not know what blue is doing. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay, so combat is over. Uh, or actually, I. Red, are you playing anything? Uh, yellow is not real. Oh, sorry. Looks like Yellow will reveal. They have four buying power. And they will take Other Memory. A very good card. I'm surprised Blue didn't want to buy it. I would have bought it if I had more money. I'm not going to play anything. Yellow, are you playing anything? Nope. Okay. I will play this card. And spend the two spice to gain two... Hmm. I'll go up here. Okay, I'll gain it with them. I get the victory point. And I get to move up two on the shipping track, and I get one troop. Okay, I get to go first. Power play is an excellent card. I think I will go with shipping. What do I want to buy with shipping? Actually, let's look at the conflict first. It's just for Solari. So not the most worthwhile one for us to win. So I don't really want to worry about invasion ships. Mimic film is always nice. As well as restricted ordinance. If I want to go for a more combat heavy strategy. It's going to be difficult to, the beat, to defeat the beast. But we'll see how it goes. 
So I will play Dune the Desert Planet. Go to shipping. Now, would I rather have Mimic Film or Restricted Ordinance? I get four extra daggers every single time I fight. That is pretty good. I think I'll go with Mimic Film. And since I get a two discount, it is free. Get two troops. I can move up one influence with any track. And I will choose the Emperor track. Uh, and I also can get, I will choose two spice. Okay, that's my turn. Yellow's turn, they will be playing their signet ring and going to smuggling. They will collect, so everyone gets two Solari. Blue's turn. They will be playing Fold Space. Oh, looks like Yellow chose to acquire the Mission Area Protectivia, which is good if you have another Bene Gesserit card. Blue ended up getting their Swordmaster. Always a good play. And they drew another card. Red's turn. I think Blue beat them to the punch on this Swordmaster. Looks like they were saving up for that. And now they have to think about what they're going to do. Green will play their dagger and play the Met and gain the Mentat for two Solari. Okay, I think I will play my power play. Now, where do I want to go with this? I can try to take the Empire one or I could take the Guild one. I think I'll start racing towards the, the Empire space. Gain two Solari, move up two, and I get a victory point. And this card gets trashed. Yellow's turn, they will be playing a dagger and getting their high council seat. Blue's turn. Blue will be playing Dune Desert Planet. And collecting three spice. Let's see if they decide to commit any troops to this battle. Looks like they will contribute just one. Oh, maybe two. Yep, two. Red's turn. They will be playing Diplomacy. And going down to Selective Breeding to discard, to trash one card and draw two new cards this turn. Looks like they will trash a Dagger. Okay. So now this could be a ter good turn to use quid pro quo and gain one fact influence with each faction where I have an agent. Where would I want to get my other thing? So I can get two points here. And I think it's worth doing that. Or I could go to s shipping again. I think I'll go to shipping again. I want to use this card when I have the Mentat with me. Or I could just take the Alliance right now. This would allow me to draw a card. I think I will play this. But where do I want to go? I could steal this Alliance right away. Or I could just try to win this some Solari for the cheap. Maybe I'll do that. What would I want in exchange? 
Yeah, it's too good getting the Solari, and it's somewhat free. So I move up one here, get that victory point, gain one water, and I will contribute two of my troops to the battle. Looks like Yellow will be playing two Carthag and contribute some troops to the battle. And they will gain one inf one intrigue card. And they will play counselor, so they get two spice since they have a high council seat. Looks like blue will be playing to fear Hawat. To go to the shipping track. I'm so stupid. Why did I leave the shipping track? This is a humongous mistake. I should not have done that. I was not thinking at all. <laughs> no, I should not have done that. Uh, hey, you know what? Learn from my mistakes. Do not pull your character off of the shipping track and let someone else go there. I'm sure someone else saw that. Terrible play by me. So it does allow them to get the Holtzman engine. So if they can start buying some Spiceman's flow, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, such a bad play. And they'll get three troops, which they can deploy to the combat if they want. We'll see if they do. Okay. Red will be playing Firm Grip. And gaining that alliance. Spending four to do so. Getting one entry card and two troops, which they cannot contribute to the battle because this is not a combat space. They can pay two Solari to move up with any faction other than the Emperor. And looks like they'll go for the Bene Gesserit. So I have five purchasing power with this and this, and I have one dagger. What do I want? I want purchasing power now so that I can start moving my way up towards buying spice must flows. I think I will take the voice as my first purchase. And good thing I did because now I get test humanity as my second purchase. Great card. What you there? What do? Yellow will reveal four buying power. Uh, oh, six, including this. So they bought Duncan Loyal Blade. Blue's turn, they will reveal four buying power, one dagger. And they will choose not to buy anything again, inexplicably. Red will be revealing two, three, four, five, six buying power. And they will also get two Spice and two Solari. Satellite Ban is an excellent card. See if they go with it. Doesn't look like they want to. They don't really have a shortage of spice, it seems. So they might not even want to go for satellite ban. Looks like they will. My turn. I already went, so I will pass. Okay, looks like we're all revealed. Um, first, and I will not play any card. Yellow. Pass. Blue. Pass. Red. I'm losing the fight. Okay. So I get two Solari. Less than ideal. I would have liked to have gotten four so I could get a Swordmaster, but it's fine. The combat this round is Cloak and Dagger, giving you first place, two intrigue cards, and one rank up. Not the best. So 
So they play Diplomacy and go to Hardy Warriors, getting two troops, and they will play Calculated Hire to get the Mentat from the desired space, paying one spice. Blue will be playing, doing the Desert Planet, allowing them to go down an orange space. And they will go to Smuggling, or uh, Interstellar Shipping, letting them move two up. Red's turn. They will be playing Flavored Subject to really lock in this, uh, this alliance. Unfortunate for me, but it's fine. And they will be playing Treachery. Allowing them to move up two with the Bene Gesserit. Paying two Spice. Getting to trash a card and gain two troops. So they do get the alliance. Unfortunate for me. <laughs> and they get an Intrigue card for gaining that alliance. And it's my turn. I really need to start buying some Spice Must Flows, but I have a little bit of time. Oh, big draw. And I get to use my Signet Ring ability to reserve one of these cards. What do I think other people want to buy? I'll take Gunthopter out of the rare. That's a pretty good card. Oh, that's a better card. Way better. <laughs> okay. And that is my turn. Yellow will play Bene Gesserit Initiate to this space to get them a Dreadnought. They will pay three Solari to do so. And they can buy a technology, and it looks like they chose to buy Restricted Ordinance, a great card. Giving them four combat for free with every battle they do. It is Blue's turn. Blue will be playing the Signet Ring. And going to Smuggling. Looks like they will likely, oh, they will be going up one. And they can get an Intrigue if they would like to spend the Solari to do so. Okay, they will play Expedite to spend one Spice and move them along the shipping track once more. So they will be collecting and they get a lot of good benefits from that. They will be taking the Spice, getting Training Drones, which gives them a free troop every turn when they flip this over. And they also get two troops. Three troops that they can also commit to the fight because they have troop transports. Looks like they will elect to do that. And they will be taking the alliance with the Fremen. Unfortunate for me. And their gold ring ability lets them draw one intrigue card. Red's turn. They have a lot of cards to work with here. They will be playing Poison Snooper. Look at the top card of your deck, and they can choose to draw or trash it. And they will draw it. Makes sense. They will be playing their Dagger and getting their Swordmaster. A little bit late in the game, but it never hurts. And now it's my turn. So I can take the Alliance. Hmm. I have three, six buying power. Really tough decision here. So I can convert this into four. That'd be seven buying power. It doesn't do much for me. I think I will start take. I'll work on taking some alliances here. Take two alliances from red this turn, or just one. Move up. I get two warriors. Two troops. I mean. I will play 
quid pro quo. So I can move up one with each of these. So I gain the alliance here by playing Secret of the Sisterhood. So I get the Bene Gesserit Alliance. And luckily I drew a very good card that lets me finesse and move down one here and up one here. Huge, huge turn of events. So I stole this for sure and I probably got this one. Very good chain of intrigue cards there. That being the last one I played. So I stole two alliances. And I move up to six total points. Looks like yellow will be playing other memory, which lets them draw a card and they will be going to the draw an intrigue card space and committing some troops to this battle. Blue will be playing Diplomacy and going to Still Suits, solidifying their alliance and gaining some water. And they'll be using Training Drones to commit one additional troop to the battle. More if they'd like. Wow, they will be. Red's turn. They just lost two alliances during my last turn, which has got to hurt. They're probably pretty mad at me right now. They will be playing Firm Grip. And going to get their High Council seat. And now they can choose to play two Solari to go up one with another faction. I would expect the Bene Gesserit, but we'll see what they end up doing. Yep, they will compete me with me there. And unfortunately, they will go before me next round, so they will be able to lock it down. So I will reveal. I have one, two, three, four, five buying power, and I will 100% be taking Smuggler's Thopter. And we're of course revealing a great card afterwards. <laughs> <coughs> Smuggler's Thopter, since I have two influence with the guild, it will draw me two cards when I play it. Green will be playing their dagger. Uh, they will play this so they can go anywhere they want, and they will be going to this space to gain an alliance or to gain a uh, victory point with the guild. And now blue will reveal four purchasing power and one dagger. And they will they will choose not to buy anything. Interesting. It is red's turn. They will reveal two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buying power. So not enough for a spice must flow. They'll get two Solari and two spice for this card. And they will buy Stilgar. Looks like they're upset they weren't able to buy this. They have three purchasing power left if they want to buy anything else. And they will play Rapid Mobilization. Exciting. And they can deploy as many troops from their garrison as they wish. Huge waste of a card, in my opinion, but we'll see how it plays out for them. Ah, they want to get the alliance from me, so they're spending up to gain that extra influence. Okay, seems like a waste. When the next is a conflict three, which will likely have multiple victory points on the line, but we'll see how it goes. So for Worm Riders Reveal, they get a bunch of swords in this combat. They don't have the alliance, so they'll just be getting four. They have two, four purchasing power. And they will go with the Bene Gesserit Sister for three. Solid card. Nothing to write home about. And looks like we're in the combat phase. Okay, yellow, you gonna play anything? Nope. Blue? No, red? Uh, you don't have anything? Okay. Take your rewards. Oh, yellow still won with the swords. So I don't get beaten out on the Ben and Jesserit sisters yet. But he goes before me. I would be surprised. And it doesn't look like his diplomacy is out, so he'll draw in his last five cards. So I've, I've lost this alliance no matter what. 
A lot of spice to be had if he decides to get petty. Oh, this is a big one to win, too. A lot of extra victory points on the line here. So, blue is first to act. They get one extra card because they have Holtzman Engine. And they will be playing Dune, the Desert Planet, most likely to ship. Yep. Fine with me. Red's turn. I'd imagine a diplomacy here to the Bene Gesserit sisters, but we'll see what they decide to do. If they don't do it, I will lock down that alliance forever. So they kind of need to. Oh, it looks like they changed their mind and they went for the spice instead. Unfortunate for me, I would have liked to have done that. That was the much, much better play and it's a good thing they realized it. Well, Red will be going for the diplomacy. And locking down that alliance. Fine with me. You can have it. It will trash a card and draw two cards. Okay. So the victory points are pretty evenly distributed. Blue is probably in the lead right now. I have three. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buying power. So I actually don't have enough for a um, thing right now. Do I want to go shipping is the question. I think I do. Do I want to trash a card? The game's almost over. I don't think it's worth it for me. I wish I had one more spice. Should I draw cards? This is a tough turn. I do want to win this combat though. So I will be playing my Dune the Desert Planet to gain three spice, so hopefully I can Highliner. That will contribute two troops. I'm going to go for the combat win. I could draw cards and buy a spice must flow, but I need to deny blue from getting it. He can't afford to do it if he has the space. Let's see what blue decides to do here. Ah, yellow will also play this to get one extra. That it looks like red will be going. Yep. Ah, dang for the highliner space. Unfortunate. I was hoping I could beat him to it. So they get five troops that they can deploy immediately into combat. And they will also be using trading drones to get one extra troop. Okay. Red will be using their signet ring. They do have an alliance, so they'll be getting two troops. And they will be going to a reckon to draw one card and gain one troop. So they get a total of three troops, which they can all deploy to this battle. So the fact that red is most likely going to beat me on this one makes me more inclined to want to not contribute a lot of troops to this fight, because I don't think I'll be able to win. So where do I want to go? I do eventually need to get my victory point from there, but I don't have to do it this turn. I think I'll draw the cards. Would I rather burn a card from my deck permanently or use my signet ring? I think using my signet ring would be better. Oh, she's so good. Okay. I will draw three cards. Hopefully I will have enough to buy what I need. Yeah, I will contribute my last troop. Oh, an unfortunate draw. Two, four, six, seven, oh. Wait, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, okay, I will have enough this turn. And I will be reserving. So that got discarded last time.
Gene manipulation, wow. Okay, that is my turn. Yellow will be playing Duncan Loyalblade. Getting himself an Intrigue and an extra troop to commit to the fray. Going up to four total. They play double cross for one Solari. An opponent loses one of their troops from the battle. They will be taking blue out, which is good because blue is in the lead. We want to slow him down as much as possible. And they gain one of their own. Okay, it's now blue's turn. They will be playing their signet ring to go and get some spice. Going up to five. And they can deploy, they don't have any troops, but they can get one Intrigue card with their Gold Ring ability. We'll see if it helps them out or not. Red's turn. Red will play Reconnaissance to go to a blue space. And he'll be gaining himself one water and one troop. And he can commit more troops to the battle if he wishes. And it doesn't look like he will. So now it is my turn to reveal. So I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten buying power. Acquire one spice must flow, giving me one additional point. Moving me up one, two, six. Um, and then I can acquire a card that costs five or less. I will be acquiring her. And that is my turn. I have three. I uh, don't have a Fremen card, so I do not get the swords from this. So I get one. So I go up to seven. It is Yellow's turn. They will be playing their Worm Riders. And going to Smuggling. So they get two spice for that. They will gain two troops. They will move up one with the Fremen. And they will gain Solari. So everyone else gets one as well. Blue will reveal. Two, three, four buying power. And one dagger. Putting them up one ahead of yellow. And they will play reinforcements to spend three Solari to gain three extra troops. Big play. Putting them firmly in the lead for this. Red will reveal two, three, four, five, six. And it looks like he will choose to retreat some of his troops. Eight total buying power, and he will acquire full scale assault, giving him one dreadnought off the buy. A rather powerful card. We'll see how often it actually gets played at this late stage in the game. My turn. I've already revealed. Yellow will reveal four buying power. And get gene manipulation. Okay, uh, we start off with blue. You playing any intrigues? Nope. Red? Nope. Okay, I don't have any yellow. You playing any? Okay, he passes, so take your rewards. Blue gets two victory points. They do not have enough for the third for the Solari. What a terrible trash conflict. Blue is very close to winning. Okay, red will play Stilgar, getting him one water, and he will go to Hardy Warriors, netting him two troops, and he can commit additional ones if he would like. We'll see if he puts any of these in. Looks like he will choose to do that.
And electing not to contribute the Dreadnought here. Okay. So I will absolutely use Smuggler Stopter here to go to Smuggling. Putting me up two on the guild track and letting me draw two cards. Very powerful card here. Yellow's turn, they will be playing Fold Space and going to Hardy Warriors to try and take away Blue's Alliance. And it looks like Yellow will commit two troops to this. Yellow will, or Blue will play Dune the Desert Planet and go to Smuggling, getting themselves one Solari and moving their ship one up the shipping track. Red's turn. Looks like Red will elect to play as Martwick. And go to Carthag. Gaining themselves one troop. And an entry card. Looks like they will commit a few extra troops to this battle. They use their ability to go up one and draw a card. And it's my turn. Where do I want to go? Two, three, four, five. I do not currently have enough resources to do what I want to do. So I could draw a card. And I think I will do that. One card. Okay, good. I have the buying power I need. And I will... Should I commit the troop for three spice? Uh, if I even get the three spice. That is the question. I'll commit it. Yellow will play the Bene Gesserit sister. Spending two spice. To discard, to trash a card and draw two cards. Blue will play a dagger. And purchase a dreadnought. And one technology if they, uh, it doesn't look like they can afford any. Interesting play. I don't quite understand it, but... Who knows? Maybe they're setting up for something big. And they will gain themselves one troop, which cannot be deployed since they did not go to a combat space this turn. Red's turn. And blue will play Recon red will play reconnaissance. And go to Siege Tabor. Getting themselves one extra water, most likely setting up for a big draw next turn. And committing more troops to this very fun battle. So I do think it's very important for me to have two water next turn. Hmm. I have my diplomacy in my hand, which is terrible. How many cards do I have? Nine. I do have another card that gives me access, but I will certainly want to be drawing cards next turn. So I need to get up to an extra water. So I will play this guy, move this guy over here to gain one water and uh, a victory point, putting me up to seven, poising me for a very nice jump at the end. We'll see if it pays off. And that is that turn. Yellow will play Mission Protectivia and Infiltrate so that enemy agents cannot block her, him. Looks like he didn't realize that I had moved my unit, so he does not have to play that, but it's good to know what that card is, and we'll keep note of that. So they will gain one troop and draw a card. They can commit that troop if they want. I don't think they will. Blue's turn. 
They are the closest to winning, so we really have to hope that they aren't able to pull something out here. Ah, never mind. They took away a victory point. So yellow now has the alliance and has it for good. Pushing blue back a little bit. Very helpful for me. I should be able to win next turn if I draw the right cards. Blue will play Diplomacy. And just draw an Intrigue card. Red's turn. They will reveal... Two buying power. Four buying power. Good thing I took away this alliance. Or they would have been able to buy a Spice Miss Flow. And it looks like they'll settle for a Duncan Idaho. My turn. I will reveal. And I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine buying power. That is one Spice Miss Flow. Putting me up to eight victory points and leaping me into first place. We'll see if I'll be able to win next turn. I hope I can. Yellow reveals enough to buy a Spice Must Flow of their own. Putting them up to seven points. Tied with blue. Blue will reveal two, four, five buying power. I'd imagine, yep, they will choose not to buy anything again. And it is my turn. Okay, combat. Red, you playing anything? Nope. I'm not yellow. Yellow? Yep, pass, okay. And blue is not in it, so take your rewards. Okay, so I'm first to move now. Oh, this is a great card. Oh, yes. This is going to sting. So, I get to draw three cards. So, everybody needs to discard a card. What a powerful card. Yellow will play Diplomacy. And go to Hardy Warriors, gaining two troops. And allowing them to add more if they want. I'd imagine they would. This is most likely the last conflict of the game. Blue will play. Doing the desert planet. And go to shipping. Gaining three troops which they can deploy into combat. I don't know if I'll be able to beat yellow here for these victory points. So do I want to try and get a victory point a different way? I don't think I can. Red's turn. They have the signet ring. And looks like they will be going to Arrakan to get one troop and draw a card. And since they have their Signet Ring ability and Alliance, they get two extra troops. For a total of three that they can contribute to the fight if they wish. And it looks like they wish. This is a tough call. So if I reveal, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, which is fine. Do I have any other points that are up for grabs? No. So I think I will just try to win this combat. Right? I don't think there's anything else for me to do here. If yellow wins, they don't actually win the game, but I might as well give them a run for their money. So I will go there. I will gain five troops, which I can dump into the battle. And I get two water. 
Getting the two water is the most important thing, so I can guarantee that I'll be able to buy a Spice Flow next turn. And the nice thing is, if I get second place, I still get Spice, so I could do that again next turn if I want. And my Signet Ring ability lets me reserve a card. I don't think I want to, though. I don't want to give anyone else any good card buying opportunities. So I go up to 10. Yellow will be playing Duncan Loyal Blade and Infiltrate, so they can go wherever they like. And looks like they will be drawing a bunch of cards. Very bad for us, because if they are able to afford a Spice Must Flow, they will end the game if they win this combat as well. And they contribute one, two more troops, effectively making it impossible for me to win this combat. I do move out one here. Forgot to do that. Yellow, blue will play their Signet Ring and draw one entry card and gain a troop. And we will draw another entry card. And they will use their training drone to add an extra troop. Putting them up tied with me at 10. Red will play Dune, the desert planet, and collect some spice. And they will play Secret Forces. If they have a high council seat, they can contribute two more troops, which it looks like they will do. Putting them up to a much higher combat total. Yeah, quick question. I, I'm quite new to the game. So, uh, am I allowed four or two this move? So, you can play these and you can put in additional two as well for going to the space. So, you can put up four total two from this and then two from just moving to a combat space okay, from your garrison. Okay, it, it doesn't uh, precise that uh, they, must, they can be deployed on the card. So. Yep, but they can be deployed because you're playing it when you go to a combat space. Okay, because I do it at the same time of my action? I, okay, okay, Yep, yeah, so since you played it the same time that you went to this action, yeah. Okay, so red contributes a ton of troops. Very exciting. Neck and neck. Okay, I have no more action, so I will re reveal. And I have one, two, three, four daggers. Putting me up to 14. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I'll take my Spice Must Flow, and I will not buy another card. Unfortunately, I was not able to win this game, and I'm not going to be able to win this combat. I will actually get no reward for this combat. <laughs> Yellow will reveal many swords, putting them in first place. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and they can buy a Spice Must Flow. So if they win this combat, they win the game. Let's see what blue can do. We are rooting for either blue or red to be able to take this home. Blue will play this guy and just go for the victory point at the end. Gain his two Solari. Draw a card for this card. Red's turn. Red's the only one with a real shot at taking this away. We'll see what they can do. Looks like yellow. Okay, they're just removing that from the deck. So red will play the Arrakis Liaison, go to a blue space so he can contribute a few more troops. He gets one and he can contribute two from his garrison. Putting him up to a grand total of two. One, two. 18 plus three is 21. 
reveals three buying power and one dagger. Not doing much. And red will reveal three daggers for each dreadnought. Wow, putting them ahead. Huge play. And one three buying power, which I assume they won't use. And yeah, maybe they will. Yeah, they can draw into it. They will use a plot card to spend four to get one victory point. Putting them up to seven. Red, yellow will play Master Tactician, giving them three swords and putting them in the lead. Anything blue? Any intrigues or anything? Nope, okay, red, any nope. intrigues? Nope, you, nope. Okay. Well, yellow, you win this conflict. Oh, okay. So yellow goes up to 10 points. I unfortunately was not able to eke out the victory here. Any end game cards? So they don't have 10 or more Solari, so they don't get anything for that. Okay. So it looks like the final score is yellow wins with 10. I get second place with nine and blue and red both tie with seven. Good game, everybody.